Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene, the people that make it, and the whiskey that makes it sound better. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing Slain Irish Whiskey, which I discovered while visiting a local bar I'll be reviewing in another video. Make sure you subscribe to get notified when that video and others gets posted. If you've tried this whiskey, or have a suggestion for something else I should try, please hit that like button and drop a comment below. Be nice, internet. As I referenced during the introduction to this video, I found this at a local bar called Double Down Saloon. It was placed next to their bottles of Jameson and priced the same, so I figured, why not? At 40% alcohol by volume, Slain Whiskey is matured in three separate barrels. Virgin oak casks with a medium char and heavy toast contribute flavors of toasted oak and vanilla. Seasoned Tennessee whiskey barrels add tastes of caramel, plum, banana, and butterscotch. Sherry Oloroso casks give us flavors of raisin and spice to round things out. This whiskey is made using water from the local river Boyne, 100% Irish barley, and the ever-important yeast. This keeps the taste consistent and controllable. The bottle may be unassuming, but the taste proved a little more complicated than I expected. On the nose, I detected the expected notes of vanilla, a little bit of baking spices, some stone fruit, and butterscotch. Nothing harsh or out of place here. On the tongue, all these notes were turned up a bit, but this is a balanced whiskey. It doesn't smack you upside the head with one note or another. But it isn't so one note that it becomes boring to drink. On the finish, there's a lingering lightness that was a mix of butterscotch and all three barrels used in the blending. A nice departure from Irish whiskeys you might be familiar with, but without straying into unknown waters. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll let me know what you thought of the Slain Irish Whiskey down in the comments. Also, what else should I try? In the meantime, if you want to support the channel, I've got links down there for merch, I've got a Patreon page, I've got some CDs out for sale, all of it helps the channel, helps the local Las Vegas music scene, helps make these videos better. And I'd love you for it, plus you get something out of the deal. If you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. Don't forget to ring the bell so you'll be notified of future videos. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.